Hey Internet, Eric here, Rachel's here. Hi. Uh, if you're going to sit in for a movie review, tonight we're going to do an R Movie Thoughts. This is our second one. We've done uh, Adventures in Babysitting together. And we were going to do initially do this two weeks ago, and it got really hot, and we got really tired. And, and we lost air conditioner. Yeah, we lost the fucking air conditioner. That sucked. <laughs> so we finally rewatched the movie last night, and then my allergies were going crazy, so we didn't film the review. And they're going a little bad tonight, so you're going to just get what you get so we can <laughs> film this and get it done over with. Um, last night we watched, we're going to, I'll spoil it, we watched a favorite movie of ours that we like to watch together. Um, yeah, it came out in 93, um, before Mike Myers, you know, annoyed the hell out of us with Austin Powers. He made So I Married an Axe Murderer. And this also has Nancy Travis and... Uh, what the fuck is his name? Anthony LaPaglia from Empire Records. And other people. What a name. Yeah. Well, he's Italian. Mm. What do you expect? Um, he's Italian? Came out in 93. <laughs> after, so it's after Wayne's World and it's before Austin Powers. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. When we discuss movies, or when I discuss movies... We spoil them, we talk about plot points, and like if the movie's from 1993, you know, big fucking deal if we spoil this one, a Mike Myers movie. Uh, Mike Myers plays Charlie, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Charlie McKenzie, a man who's afraid of commitment. He always finds ways of sneaking out of the relationship. Like, um, what's the joke? He... he he broke up with a girl because he thought she was a klepto. Yeah, and he and a girl stole his cat. Yeah, and girl. somebody smelled like soup. That's right. So <laughs> he broke up with one girl because she smelled just like beef vegetable soup. <laughs> that shows how desperate he is just to get out of the relationships. And he eventually meets because he's going to his parents for dinner. He meets Nancy Travis, who plays. I forget her name. Uh, Harriet. She plays Harriet. Um, of course, falls in love with her, and then when he's with his parents, his mom loves to read the Weekly World News, you mm -hmm. know, the stupid-ass paper that had, like, Bat Boy. The nosy mags. The, yeah, and the nosy mags, but these were, like, the retarded ones, yeah. like, Fat Man, you know, was it Pregnant Man Gives Birth? Was Alien the one. Baby Gives Birth to a Bug. Yeah, something <laughs> stupid shit like that, Bat Boy, all that stuff, and she talks about Mrs. X, and Mrs. X was someone who... Murdered all of her husbands on her honeymoon. Well, eventually, you know, spoilers, it seems like Charlie is going to marry Mrs. Mrs. X. X. Yep. And hilarity ensues. And the rest of the movie is him trying to figure out, is she Mrs. X? Is she not Mrs. X? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's an underrated movie. I think that a lot of people don't know about it. Because I feel like whenever I talk about Mike Myers, it's always either Wayne's World or Austin, Power. Austin Powers. Or it's Shrek. Either, or Shrek. But whenever I say this movie, they're all like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, it's like it fell under the radar. Yeah. Um, Mike Myers overall is actually really good in this. Yeah. He's he's charming a lot. He's not... He still Overly does... really goofy. Yeah, he still is goofy. He's not, you know, ch tongue-in-cheek like he is in Wayne's World. He's not... Fucking annoying, like he is in Austin Powers. Yeah, he's just like a normal. He's a normal. He's a normal smart ass goofy guy. Yeah. And uh, Nancy Travis, who plays Harriet, um, she's very cute in this, and I like her because she can hold her own with Mike Myers. Like mm -hmm. when he's making his little comments, um, she she's she's right there, right there, there with him. Like um, he says, uh, Have what's yeah, what's the most evil thing you did? And she, he asked her, how many people have you brutally murdered? And then she says, well, brutal is very subjective. What's Subjective word. Yeah, what's brutal to somebody is what... Uh, came to somebody else. Came to somebody else or justified or something like that. And it's, it's, I, they're, them going back and forth is really good. Um, I like Anthony, Lee, Anthony LaPaglia as the buddy. Uh-huh. And... Um, Paisan. Yeah. It's not Paisan, it's Paisan. <laughs> Um, he's real funny as, you know, his buddy, and he's also a cop. There's a little side story with him being bored about being a cop because he thought it was going to be like TV, and, you know, he was like going to... Star Starsky and Hutch. Yeah, he wanted to be Starsky and Hutch or Serpico or something like that, and his boss is too nice, 
So there's some cool scenes where his boss is trying to be the asshole boss. And there's there's one scene that I really like where his boss chews him out. Yeah. He picks him up and he throws him against the wall. And then Anthony and LaPaglia leaves. You just see his boss standing there like this. He's just wondering. <laughs> and then Anthony comes in and he says, you know what, that was really good. That wasn't too over the top. No, that was no, perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> so that was, was funny. But is that Paisan? It's Paisan. Yeah. Not Paisan, it's Paisan. <laughs> um, so that was funny. I really liked that. Um, I like I like um, Mike Myers as his dad. Yes, Mike Myers also plays his drunken Scottish father. <laughs> and, you know, he does the Shrek voice. Yeah. And this is obviously where Shrek, the voice of Shrek came from. But his father is a real dick. <laughs> like, he's so mean to Charlie. He's so mean to his, his wife. He's so mean to the younger brother, William, who he calls Heed, which <laughs> really means head because William's got a big fucking head. <laughs> and, like, whenever someone who has seen this movie quotes it, it's really basically the, uh, the conversation where, uh, what's Charlie's dad's name? Stuart? Yeah. Is making fun of William. And, you know, William sits up in front of the TV and says, William, move your head. <laughs> he's like, oh, look at the size of that boy's head. I'm not kidding. It's like an orange on a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Sputnik. It's spherical, but quite pointy in parts. Oh, I went too far with that one. He'll be crying himself to sleep tonight on this huge pillow. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he's such an asshole, but he's funny. <laughs> I think her name is uh, Brenda Vickers. I could be wrong. Plays his mom, the, 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 the mom who is in love with Anthony LaPaglia. Yeah. Like, she's very sexually attracted to him. She's always grabbing his butt and stuff like that. Especially at, uh, that at the wedding. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then I'll discuss one character later when we get to the spoiler section <laughs> of this video. Because I, we have to spoil this part of the movie to praise this person's performance. Um... Let's see. Like I said, the comedy's pretty good. I really like the characters. There, Mike Myers isn't perfect though. I'm not gonna lie. There no. are there, there are parts when he really fucking annoys me. When he he's got this thing where he goes to like uh, a poetry bar or or a beatnik bar or something like that. Because he's a mu musician poet. Yeah, fuck that. And he always goes up there, and he does this random. He does this poem. Slash song about all the women in his life. And it's just fucking dumb. I hate it. I think um, it's kind of fun. It's kind of funny the first time you see it. And then if you see it a couple of different times after that, you're like, eh, this is kind of stupid. I never liked it. <laughs> um, and he does get, he does get, a, sometimes he does get annoying. Like just the way he reacts to some people. Um, but overall, he's really good. Um, soundtrack. Nine, all right. 90s alternative. You know, nothing special. I mean, we have the soundtrack, and it's just meh. But I would say this is it's it's like the Lost Boys in this way. How if you watch the Lost Boys, um, what the fuck is that song? Cry Little Sister plays like five hundred million times during oh. that. There's one song in this called "There She Goes," and that plays at least three or four times through this whole fucking movie, and it just gets tiring. But overall, the soundtrack's fine. Um. There's a really weird cameo by Phil Hartman. Oh yeah. Where he uh, he he play he <laughs> plays like a tour guide John at, at at Alcatraz. His name John my Johnson. name is John Johnson, but you can call me Vicky. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that scene because it's so fucking weird it out there, make sense. unnecessary, and it doesn't make sense. But I don't want to spoil it. No. Yeah. And then um, there's another scene later on with the guy from Beethoven, the dad from Beethoven. Yes, Charles Grodin is that in this. Really when make uh, any sense. Anthony Lapagli is finally becoming the cop he wants to be. He's you know he's running, he's commandeering vehicles, he's you know telling people to get me here, get me there, and he tries to commandeer the uh, the car of Charles Grodin, <laughs> and we'll just say that Charles Grodin is like the biggest asshole in the world. <laughs> it and it makes sense why he's in it. And it's a fantastic scene. It's a great cameo. I love that. <laughs> Um, the direction is okay. Um, directed by Thomas Schlammy. <laughs> I don't fucking know his name. Uh, S C H L A M M E. Schlammy. That's how I would say Shlami. it. Thomas Schlammy. <laughs> um, he's got some cool shots. I like how the movie starts out with like a pan up in the sky and you're coming down into the stupid beatnik bar. Mm hmm. 
and you go into the beatnik bar, and it turns into a POV shot of someone walking, and it's, you end up being like a waitress. Mm -hmm. Like you see them put an, empty, the put an empty cup on a tray, and they take it to the back where they wash it, and then they fill up the cappuccino, and then they put it on the full cappuccino on the tray, and we walk all the way to Mike Myers, and he does this stupid fucking joke. But that was a cool uh, shot, and I don't know if you noticed it. There's a lot of shots where there's some wipes, like um, we cut from the stupid uh, beatnik bar, and then we see the San Francisco trolley come through, you know, the scene, and it wipes to the scene of them getting ready to go to uh, Stuart and William and whatever yeah. like mom's name's house. Just cool little wipes like that. I thought were neat. Yay! Shut it. Yeah, his his dad is such a funny mm -hmm. fucking asshole. And he's just, he's just a huge uh, Scottish stereotype. Um, one of my favorite scenes. Uh, a lot of this of a lot of this movie is just little bits, little sketches. Yeah. And one of my favorite scenes is when Nancy Travis is overwhelmed at the. She Not works sure. at a butcher shop, and she's overwhelmed by the customers. Because it's really busy that day. This is one of my favorite ones too. Yeah, and. Uh, Mike Meyer says his dad was a butcher, so he's willing to help her. And it's just a bunch of, you know, it's a big chance of Mike Myers playing with raw meat. Yeah. And just doing his shtick. And I think overall the jokes really work. Yeah. It's a really funny scene. Now we're going to get to the spoiler part. Because, so if you haven't seen, which you probably haven't. because It's no one, hard not to spoil yeah. it because we kind of have to talk yeah. about. Pretty much no one has seen this fucking movie. And it, but again, it came out in '93, so if you haven't seen this, go see it right now, and then come back to 11 minutes and 55 seconds of this video, and then you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Spoiler alert. I want to praise Amanda Plummer. Amanda Plummer plays Dancy Travis's sister. sister Rose. And if you've never seen Amanda Plummer before, I've seen her in this. She's Honey Bunny in Pulp Fiction, and she's in one of my favorite episodes of Tales from the Crypt, which I can't think of the fucking name off the top of my head right now. Um, I like Amanda Plummer because she's so sweet when we first meet her, so innocent, but she's also very creepy. Mm -hmm. You can tell she's very protective of Harriet. Mm -hmm. And here's the spoiler part. We find out, which you can... Pick it up upon second viewing. Yeah. I'm going to drop my beer. You find out that she is the killer. And it's not Nancy Travis. And she is so good going from the sweet, innocent Rose to, to, evil. to evil, psychotic, I'm going to kill Charlie at whatever cost Rose. Right. I really love it. The scene where um, she attacks them on their wedding night. They're at a hotel. And Charlie, thinking Harriet is the murderer, locks her in the closet. But then, you know, Rose tries to kill him, and he, they sneak up on the roof. And she's chasing Charlie for probably a good five minutes, and she is so creepy. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah, she's on the fucking roof, and she's yeah. just... Like chanting. She's, you know, she's just, you know, where are you, Charlie? You know, come out, come out, mm -hmm. wherever you are. That type of thing. Just her voice it's mixed creepy. with mixed with the wind. Yeah. So creepy. Um... And like you said last night, the reason what it is, is it's definitely her voice. Yeah. It's definitely her voice. She's got this sweet, innocent voice. She's not unattractive. No, she's cute. She's cute, but she she turns into this monster, and yeah. she's really good. Um, and it's, it's, it's a great scene that's intense. I mean, you know fucking Mike Myers isn't going to die, okay? You <laughs> yeah. know he's not going to die in this. But he gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> There's a scene where he slides down the side of the roof and he gets crotched on oh. this metal beam. It makes me hurt. I'm exactly, a girl. Exactly. And so that, <laughs> I mean, that's painfully funny. Um, they're fighting over the axe and Rose kicks him in the nuts. Mm -hmm. He gets hurt, but then he kicks he kicks her, he kicks in, her the in the crotch and she just kind of stands there and kind of wonders what he's doing. <laughs> and then he just kind of smiles. One of my favorite scenes is she knocks him off the side of the roof, and he's hanging on the ledge, okay? And she's swinging the axe, and he's moving his hand just in time, yeah. and then she swings it the other hand, he moves it just in time. She swings down, and, like, the axe goes in between his fingers, <laughs> and he looks at it, and he just goes... <laughs> and that part's funny, but what I think is really funny, my favorite scene, 
is while that's happening, Anthony yeah, LaPaglia <laughs> breaks down the door to save Charlie, takes um Harriet, Harriet Harriet out of the closet, and he's got her handcuffed and he's questioning her. Because he thinks she's the killer. Yeah, he, he's the one who he found out that she's Mrs. X. You know, she's the one that has been married to these guys and these guys have turned up dead. You know, he finally became the cop he wanted to be, did his police work. And as he's questioning her and not believing her fucking bullshit, you hear the axe thumping in the roof, and you hear Charlie like, screaming. Oh. And Lepaglia is just so dumb to it, he doesn't realize what's going on. And the whole time here, it's like, just listen. That's yeah, just them listen. That's them up there. And he's just like, no, no, I don't want to believe your bullshit. So, really funny. Um, anything else you want to add that you can think of off the top of your head? I just think... I don't know. I think more people should see this movie. I just think it's so good. It's not anything that you have to go in with having any sort of thought process. <laughs> it's just fun to watch. Yeah, don't have high yeah. expectations. Yeah. It's, not, <laughs> don't. It's, it's a way to kill 90 minutes and laugh. Um, if you go in, if you've never seen this before, and you go in like Best Buy or something, and it's in the $5 bargain bin, you're going to get your money's worth, maybe even more. Um, overall... Yeah. Really, really funny. I have a lot of fun with this movie. I've seen it probably a dozen times um, before we got together, and we've probably seen it at least five or six times more since we've been together. Some of the funny scenes are, like, it's hard to put in words. Like, the part where, like, they spend their first night together, and she shouts out the name Ralph, and he yes. just shouts right up. It's so funny. Yeah, it's she's just hard to put into words. Yeah, you find out that it. yeah, he's wondering why she's screaming her friend Ralph's name, and he's assuming it's a ex boyfriend, and he she's like, oh no, Ralph's she's, she's my, my friend, friend. <laughs> and he's like, she's your friend, Ralph, she's your friend, <laughs> Ralph. You know, little bits like that. We're not going to spoil a lot right. of the other jokes, but the joke where the, I like the scene where. He's watching a current affair, so that kind of dates the <laughs> dates the show. I mean, my fucking mom watched a current affair in the nineties yeah. while he's doing the thigh master, so they <laughs> also fucking dates it. But he he's watching a story about wives poisoning their husbands, and then of course, uh, I can't fucking remember her name. Harriet. Harriet. Rose. Harriet. No, it's Harriet. Makes him a smoothie, so he's trying to avoid drinking the smoothie, which ends up being a funny scene. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, overall. It's, it's, it's such a fun movie. Such a fun movie. Not a lot of problems I have with this. Like I said, other than basically a couple times when Mike Myers is really fucking annoying. And it's it's very small where he's yeah. really annoying. Um, Likeable characters. Um, like I said, I love how Nancy Travis can keep up with Mike Myers. Anthony LaPaglia. Anthony LaPaglia is a fun best friend. I love him and his boss, how he's trying to teach his boss to be the asshole, you know, police chief. And I love him with old, with dad, with the dad. Oh, yeah, Stuart. Anthony LaPaglia and uh, old Mike Myers, Stuart, <laughs> they're so good together. It's like their buddies, too, you know. Yeah. I mean, because what I really like is they're all going over to uh, his parents' house for dinner. Anthony LaPaglia is there before Mike Myers shows up already drinking with Stuart. Right. So, th- so that, that's great. It just shows that they're, you know, he's part of the family. He's, he's chumming up with him, too. Um, other than a couple lame Mike Myers, you know, over-the-top, perf- you know, lines, the, uh, the stupid beatnik stuff, and just a meh 90s soundtrack, lots of fun. And Amanda mm-hmm. Plummer is so fucking good in this. Yeah, she is. Great performances by everyone around. Um, highly recommend... 1990s 3's So I Married an Axe for Murderer please go check it out because I don't like the fact that only me and Rachel are the ones that have ever seen this movie <laughs> so that's it um, thank you for watching I want to get my beer before it drops um, please like subscribe share tell your friends um, tell your enemies um, feel free to suggest things yeah suggest things um, if it's something you just want me to watch if you so- want something for me and Rachel to watch um, and with this, uh, our movie thoughts, if you would like us to, let me put it right here. Yeah, I can hold it. cold on my belly. <laughs> if you want us to review a film that I've already re- reviewed by myself, I'm all for that too. Um, we have some ideas thrown out for our movie thoughts. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Rachel has suggested The Sound of Music, <laughs> which I've never seen and I don't want to see. She suggested Grease. I did. 
remember. Oh, you don't remember? Good. Forget that. <laughs> she has not suggested Greece. But that's okay because Troll. West Side Story, I know, suggested. Oh, fuck, West Side Story. That's a good one. I've never seen him again. We're probably going to do a lot of musicals. Yay! Um, mm. But I've also told her that she's going to she's going to review Troll and Troll Two with me, uh, amongst some other things. I'm sure. Anyways, um, check out our other stuff. Cartoon commentaries is really taking off. Um, if when YouTube's not being a dick with the copyright, um, like subscribe. I already said that. Mm -hmm. um, cheers. Yeah, cheers. And um, Scotland has its own type of martial arts. It's called fuck you. <laughs>